Okay, three, two, one, go, and up we go. Yeah, it's way higher. Then you deploy the hang glider. Good tip, Calvin. See you later. We are going to the beach, baby. It's not a beach day because we are going to a cave today, but briefly, it'll be a beach day. There should be a life raft out here on the beach that's gonna have the handgun for us. At least that's where it was in early access. Let me take a look at my map. Yeah, there is an exclamation mark right out in the ocean, which means Bravo team member. So we're gonna head that way. I'm gonna land on the beach and we'll swim out to it. Coming in kinda hot. Yeah. All right. Oh, I hear a radio. Second I landed. Let's pick this back up. Man, there's definitely a radio going on over here somewhere. Hey, 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 the party on the beach. What's up? Oh, you're dead, huh? Okay. Well, I'll be taking that nine millimeter ammo. I don't think you're going to need it. Or that watch. Or that drink. What else you got out here? Oh, MREs. Take all those. Take some of that money in case I do get out of here. Some medicines. Break that. Get that electronic out of it. Ooh, light bulb's good. And an energy bar. Don't need that. What's in here? Yes, tape. And a soda pop. Oh, wait. Even more. Grenades. A guy's best friend when he finds himself trapped on an island with a bunch of cannibals and mutants. That's for sure. What do we have out here? Let's see. Oh, yeah. It's a life raft. All right. Let's go check it out. Let's throw on the wetsuit. There we go. Into the water. Swimming so fast with this wetsuit on. Let me take a look see where we're at. We're probably almost already there. Yep, we're here. Judging by the seagulls, whoever's in here is dead. Let's get on. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Oh, did I just see it? Oh, no, there's a shark circle in the wagon. That's not going to be good. Do I have any, let's see, hands and feet and legs and stuff? No, of course not. Can't distract them. Hmm. Maybe we can outswim them with the flippers on. But first, I'll take your little GPS thingy. I might use that at some point. And then uh, some flares. I think I'm full on flares. Probably don't need these. I wonder if you can distract the shark with a flare. Aha! There you are. We got ourselves a little pistola here, a little 9mm. I wonder if that attachment that we got in the cave, this flashlight attachment, is for the pistol. Oh, it's not for the pistol? It must be for the shotgun. Dang. I was really hoping we could have a flashlight attached to our pistol the next cave we went into. Woo, that was going to be easy. Okay, oh well. Now, shark. Get distracted by flares by any chance? Maybe we'll just throw that over there and see what happens. Get a shark. Where'd the shark go? I just saw him there. Shark? Are there two sharks? Oh, there he is. I see him. As soon as he goes by, we're, we're gonna make a run for it. Make a swim for it. Go, 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 go. Not turning around either. That's suicide. Just keep going straight and fast. Oh, I can see the bottom of the ocean. Oh, yeah, we're pretty shallow now. I don't think he can get us. Oh, yeah, I can touch now. We're good. Okay. Woo! We got ourselves a pistol. Life just got so much better. What is this barrel? Probably nothing. Okay. All right. Well, let me take a look at my map. And on the last cave we went into, we discovered the location of a new bunker. I think it was the maintenance bunker. And I believe that it is due east from our current location. So if we just pretty much walk straight, we will find it. It does look like it's a little bit away from us, but we'll get there. Also, I don't mind going on a little foot adventure. I could probably jump off of something and get back on my hang glider and get there really quick, but maybe we'll come across a cannibal camp and we can get some more resources. And this island seems to be littered with places that we could dig up with our shovel. And since we have a shovel now, it'd be nice to run into some of those dig sites that I keep seeing around here. Just going to have to keep my eyes peeled as we're walking around, see if we can find some grave sites or something. Also, keep my eyes peeled for cannibals. I think the word's out on the island that I am not a nice person. Also, if I see a deer along... Oh, I see a deer along the way. It's right there. If I can kill me a deer, that'd be cool because I do want to see what you get... Oh, he's right there. I want to see what you get from their pelt. Also, my computer monitor has a life hack that I just discovered. Uh, I could put a green dot on the screen, which I have done. It's perfectly centered, 
And it moves around with me as I move around. So the game doesn't have a crosshair for any of your weapons. But my screen does now, which is pretty cool. So I shouldn't miss any shots uh, unless there's just a lot of drop off with these arrows. Uh, maybe we should use one of the good arrows. And yeah, we'll switch it over to the carbon fiber. There is a deer right in front of me. There's a couple that just went off too. Uh, let's see here we go we're gonna sneak up on it i did see oh god i didn't mean to do that and the deer disappeared we hoping we were gonna get him oh well look some aloe though i'll take that and let me backtrack because i saw some supplies a second ago right here supplies someone in the comments did suggest that you know hey this stuff respawns i know it used to i don't think it does anymore i don't believe the overworld stuff respawns anymore i think the cave stuff might but if the cave stuff respawns, then maybe so do the mutants. And it's probably not worth going back in the caves because you're going to spend just as many resources as you're going to get from going back in there. So, yeah, I think they made the game a little bit harder so things don't respawn, which is fair. There's that deer. And I got to aim a little high for drop off and probably missed. I think they're on to me. Crap. Well, I know I was on target, but the drop off. There's no hack on my monitor for that. I've just got to learn it and fire you know what i think we're going to do a little bit of science because i'm not so sure that having the green dot on the screen is actually helping let me grab this and let's see if i can figure something out really quick just throw this in the ground like that and then if i go in my inventory i have got a target and i think i could probably put this on you there we go now if the green dot on my screen is accurate i am put i'm putting it right on the bullseye there so this should hit bullseye. Wow. Jeez. You've got no hope with arrows in this game. No hope at all. So my green dot is on the bullseye. And look at that. So it is to the left of where the center of the screen is. And you've got to aim up. <laughs> That's insanity. Then again, it is a pretty primitive bow. And I believe there's a compound bow. And I know that there is also a crossbow maybe those will be more accurate because that was not very accurate can i have this back by any chance yeah i can get that back i'll have to do some more tests at the house but for now hunting is off the table we are getting closer but we're still pretty far away let's keep going look at this little watering hole this would have been a nice place for a base right here i don't see any fish in the water though you surround this with a spiked wall and electric fence you're good to go can have water anytime you want it speaking of though i am gonna fill up my pot oh wait there's soup in it okay let's finish this off that was that cream of mushroom stuff gives me that stealth bonus or at least that's what i think it is all right we've got some fresh water i bet that stealth bonus would help you hunt a little bit as well and i know you can make some armor out of leaves which i think also makes you stealthy so next time we try to hunt deer i should probably do those two things or i should just pull out my gun and shoot them that's bound to be easier. All right, looks like we're coming pretty close to the site now. Yeah, it's straight ahead of us here. Hopefully, we're the only ones here. Oh, signs of life. This is good. What do we have? Tape and a watch. Perfect. Don't mind either of those. Big old excavator here. Yeah, they were digging around here for something. Probably some more of that solophyte. Oh, look at this. Got some golf carts, which usually means some more batteries. Hey, that's uh, printer resin. Battery. Perfect. And this golf cart is drivable. I'll probably maybe take it home with us. Because I lost my last one in the water, if you remember. <laughs> Driving like a crazy person out on the beach. Oh, another battery? Whoa, two more batteries. That's good. Ah, I think we have to use our shovel here to get in this bunker. All right, cool. Let's break ground. Yeah. I don't see anything yet. Just keep digging. We'll find something. Just double check that we're in the right spot. Oh, yeah, we're right on top of the maintenance bunker. It's under this sand somewhere. Oh, yeah, I can see something. There's a hatch under here for sure. Ha! I think we're here. All right, let's open this thing up. Maintenance A. All right, hopefully this latch still works. Come on. Got it. Okay. Whew. I gotta start working out. Uh, hello? Anybody home? Mind if I rummage through all your stuff? I'm going to anyways. Cool. Oh no. Dead maintenance worker. 
Had some 9mm bullets though. Let's see what else we have. Oh, a Roomba! Oh, can I get. Ah, uh, I was hoping to get an electronic out of that. Tape. Another dead maintenance worker. I hear music. Sounds like it's. Coming from the wall or something. Where's this music coming from? Aha! Oh, look at this! Very cool. Where's that music coming from? I gotta turn that off. I don't know if it's copyright. Don't seem to be able to stop the music from playing. It's fine. I guess we'll just deal with it. What all do we have in here? Oh, we got some food in the fridge, do we? Raw meat collected. Ugh. I don't know if I trust that, but I'll probably eat it. Can't be picky when you find yourself in a world like this. Hey, another location computer. What are we going to locate this time? The food bunker. Oh, that's going to be my favorite bunker ever. Hey, what's this? A pistol rail. All right, so if we take the pistol and we take the rail and we put them together. Oh, can we put the flashlight on now? Yes, we do have a pistol with a flashlight. We just needed the rail attachment. Look at that. Yeah, we got a pistol with a flashlight on it. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Babies! Stop or I'll shoot. Yeah. You were warned, baby. All right, I probably shouldn't waste my ammo on them. It was just, it was out. I had to use it. Yeah. Stupid babies. Not ready for there yet. I'll be out in a minute. All right. So we got the food location bunker. And then we got, oh, there's a scope. Is that a scope? What is this? Give me that. A laser sight. So I'm wondering if we can change attachments. Can you put the laser sight on here too? Oh, you put it on top. Wow, we've got a decked out pistol all of a sudden. Very cool. Oh no, baby. Oh, shithead. You F right off, pal. That's what you get. Oh, there's another one in here. I see you. God. All right, we've got some lore here. Let's read this. It's another email. Tension all. Team, this afternoon it was discovered that a painting from Mr. Puffton's personal collection has gone missing. If anyone has any information, please talk to me directly, Hank. Well, well, well. Can't trust nobody. Stealing from the boss, huh? Oh, good. We've got a 3D printer here. Oh, what is this? Give it to me. Looks like we've got a card says it's a maintenance key card. Okay, we have a maintenance key card. And I think, oh, I just accidentally crafted something. Crap, what did I craft? All I did was hit a button one time. Oh, there's no, ha, there's no resin in there. I was gonna say, I think all of these printer stations located have the same items on them. So uh, yeah, you can just stay beeping, pal. I'm not putting any in there. Would you shut up? Why would they make music that you can't turn off in a video game? Everybody knows that you should be able to turn off music in a video game. Everybody. Got a nice little save and sleep spot here. My energy's looking good, but I will save. Save complete. Oh my. Oh my. This is dubious. Okay, what are you holding on to? Sam Sa Sunday? Sam Soon? Sam Sunday? This one's called the corporate line. There is a line. You do not cross by Sam soon sound. Let's go with sound. The E's silent at the end. All right. Let me get. To, oh, we got a tuxedo. Hey, wonder how I look at this. Let's check it out. Oh, I am looking fancy in my new tuxedo. It's going to be hard to keep Virginia's three hands off of me. I'm pretty sure that's everything. So we can leave this room and continue down the hallway a little bit. Aha. What do we have in here? Well, we have ourselves a solar panel. Probably can't have too many of those, but apparently I do have too many of those. Some wire, light bulb, light bulbs, 3D resin printer stuff. Another one of those I can't pick up. Dead dude, uh, battery. Yeah, I am about to say, there's no way I can carry 17 batteries. All right, did we get everything? Wait a minute. A new axe presents itself. First, before I check out the axe, where is my clothes at? My regular clothes. Let's get out of this tuxedo. I want to check the stats on the tuxedo. So it keeps you warm. It keeps you comfortable, but it doesn't keep you very dry. 
So if we go to our tactical jacket, I guess this is actually better for us to wear as the tuxedo. I'll, I guess I'll keep it on. And then we have our modern axe versus the fire axe. Okay, I don't know what the first one means. Is that speed? So the modern axe is slightly faster, but this does more damage. I'm guessing the middle one is damage. We compare it to the modern axe. Yep, the fire axe does more damage and the blocking is equal. So slower, but more damage. I'm gonna use the fire axe. Check it out. Man, we got some good stuff today. We got ourselves a gun with two attachments. Plus we got this nice fire axe. Get me out of here. And one very snazzy tuxedo. Ah, oh, crap, it's getting nighttime. All right, let's get on this thing and maybe we can make it home. I had to guess home is in this direction. I don't know where home is. Who am I kidding? I'm, I've, I'm stuck already. I moved four feet and I'm stuck. Hit it. Okay, pretty sure I heard a terrifying cannibal. Please, let's just go. Stop crashing into crap. Okay. Oh, it's impossible. It is impossible. Right, cross this little river here, maybe, without getting stuck. All right. Yeah. This is a path. Okay, let's find our way home. I'm just gonna try to stay on the path. I think I just ran over a squirrel. Because it does look like home is in this general direction right here. We are rolling down. Are you serious? Right when I was about to say, we are rolling now. That happens. We are rolling now, baby. Woo! Oh, God, cannibal, watch out. Excuse me, coming through. Look at those deer over there. Come here, if I can't hit you with a crossbow, I'm gonna get you with this. Ugh. It's faster than my golf cart. Never gonna, ow. Never gonna get a deer. Aha! Oh, I got one. I got one. Sorry about that. Let me see what you've got. Is it just meat? Hopefully we get some, oh, we do get some deer skin hide from it. And then a trophy and some meat. We gotta take a left right here. I think I'm getting closer to home. I also could be getting further away from it. I'm just following the path and trying to stay in the direction of my house. Quite honestly, I think I'm gonna have to do some off-roading here if we're gonna, ever gonna get home. It's just, yep, this will work. This is fine. Tell you what, they've got some nice headlights in this thing. I mean, that is as bright as it gets. There's a giant river ahead of me. Now, okay, I think this is where we get out and go on foot. In fact, I think, yeah, I'm home. Okay, so we did get the golf cart back home. Kind of, it's just across the river. I'll try to sort that out in the morning. Sorry it had to be you, little deer. But there you go. Not gonna waste any of your parts. You can live with me now, and I shall call you Dapper Dan. Dapper Dan, our little deer friend. And once you look at that, we've got lights at nighttime because if you'll remember, I did get a battery and I put it on this solar panel back here. Plus now I have just a stupid amount of batteries. Hopefully there's some more traps that need batteries. I don't really know what to do with all these batteries. Let's get this fire nice and roaring. I'm gonna put my pot of water on it. See if maybe I can boil that deer meat maybe. Let's see what we've got for recipes. Yeah, I can make boiled meat. It's gonna give me a strength bonus. So let's do that. Got to put in two pieces of raw meat. One and two. And let's cook it up. Ha! Next cave we go into, we're going to have a nice strength bonus. Guessing I'm a little bit parched right now. Take some of this canteen water. That'll hold me over. Also, I wanted to see what I could do with that deer skin. Where is it? Where do you suppose we keep that at in this gigantic backpack? Look at this. Oh, there it is. Man, I could barely see that. Look next to my kneecap right there. It's just rolled up next to my knee. You can make hide armor with two hide and one cloth. I wonder if that's better than bone armor because that seems a lot harder to get. You know what it probably does? It probably keeps you warm. That's probably what hide armor does. I'll have to remember that for the winter time. I guess we're gonna need another shelf and start storing hide. I'll put a shelf right here. This will be a good spot for one. If you noticed all of my torches out here, we can see a lot better at nighttime. So if I do get into a skirmish in my front yard, at least I'm, I can see what I'm doing now. Oh good, the yarrow's growing and so is the aloe. And we'll just throw that in there. That worked, okay. Chores around here are never done. I've got to replenish some of this firewood I keep taking and putting on my fires. Add these to the stack. 
There we go. Winter will be here before you know it, apparently, and probably like a day or two. What were meds doing on the ground right there? I have no idea, but I got some free meds from my water holders. Speaking of, it needs to rain again soon. I am out of water in those. Oh, it looks like our boiled meat is done. I'm not going to drink that now. I think I'll save that for the next cave that we go in. In the meantime, I'm going to make a home for the deer hide. Yeah, we'll just keep that up there. There we go. Well, that maintenance bunker did not take long at all, but we got some really good stuff out of it. We got a little bit of lore, and there's another location for a 3D printer. We got ourselves a handgun today, and we will be testing it out soon enough. Calvin, what you doing? Sleeping? On the job? Get up and keep this base in working order. Don't you tell me no. Do it. And we also got that golf cart home and one fancy dancy tuxedo. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode, and if you did, don't forget to drop a like on it, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and as always, it's been your boy Lagging24, and I will see you uh, next time.